my guides and dolls. So today's tutorial is quite literally a tuxedo mask. This is the uh, second to last video in my Sailor Moon series which I started in 2008. This look actually took um, a few different transformations until I got it to the look that you see here. I tried um, like something where I just drew glasses on and I do actually have a few test shots that I did for that one so I'll go ahead and insert them here. I just It never really kind of worked out so I the other day I was just kind of doing face charts and stuff and I thought well what if I do an actual tuxedo mask? That's exactly what I did and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope that you guys enjoy it. I think this is something that's great for those of you who are you know, fans of the series and those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about when I say Sailor Moon. This could work for a lot of different things. It could work for Halloween or any kind of masquerade uh, event that you have or cosplay even. I think this would be kind of fun to do instead of like the traditional tuxedo mask look. So anyway, I will have a full list of products that I used on my blog since I didn't really mention uh, too many specifics. The one thing I'm not going to mention in this video is all the brushes that I used. Just because a lot of them are, you know, craft store brushes or really doesn't matter what brushes you use to create this look as long as they work for you. So yeah, um, but I will have a list of my skincare products and things like that. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I'll have a link in the down bar. If you'd like to learn how I created this mask, just keep watching. Hey guys, I already started my whole tutorial-ishness out. I went ahead and I kind of smoothed down my brows using a bit of, if I can find it, a bit of Elmer's glue. I don't have a tutorial on how to do this because seriously, I'm the worst person ever at blocking out brows. In fact, I didn't even come like finish blocking them out, I just smooth them down. But um, Blanche Babcock has a really great video, so I'll go ahead and link that in the down bar. And let's get started. So I'm gonna grab some tape, trusty old scotch tape. Get my hair out of the way, because my hair does not need to be part of the party. Part of the party. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of try to get that as straight as possible across my forehead. Okay, that'll work. So now for the face painting, I'm going to use my Mayron Paradise Makeup. It's basically a water-activated cake makeup. So I'm going to use the black and the white today. We're going to start with the black. And uh, like I said, it's water-activated, so you do need to use a liquid to activate it. I personally prefer to use Fix Plus from MAC because it's easy. I can just spray it into the little thing and mix up my paint, but you can just use like regular water or you could use like Ben Nye's Liquid Set or Max Mickey, Mickey Medium, <laughs> Mixing Medium. So just whatever tickles your fancy. And anyway, I'm just mixing up my paint like this. Doo -doo -doo. And then I'm just going to um, draw a couple little lines right here. I know that in this general area is where I'm going to have my bow tie, so I just don't want to um, paint anything there. But then I'm going to paint down from the line so I don't get any paint under the tape, or hopefully I don't. I'm just going to map out some things. I'm going to paint it definitely all in this region. Definitely all in this region. So if that's like a good way to start you off, knowing where you can paint and just getting it over with rather than going in and doing the detailed work first, I find that that usually messes me up. over my eyebrows. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the tape. this nice sharp edge. I'm actually going to really quickly tight line my eyes just so that they don't look nearly as freaky. Okay so now we're going to start drawing the shirt and for that I'm going to use the white paint. I already kind of started on this side but I'm going to start from the inside of my eyebrow, kind of rest my pinky on my nose and just literally follow that natural curve and then curve it in. Flick the color in. 
I say I need a bit more on the right side. Filling it in and see how it looks. So we're going to leave our shirt part alone and start focusing on the bow. Just drawing a little circular, rectangular ish thing. It's like the little inner part of the bow. I just want to kind of get the basic shape down, kind of like I'm drawing myself an outline. And then I'm just going to give it like a really quick fill and see if that's the shape that I want. I'm basically going to work on getting this whole area nice and opaquely white. So while doing this, I notice that sometimes I do get a little bit of black on the white part, uh, and then I, I get black on my brush. So I just take a baby wipe and just wipe off my brush. Because this is a water activated paint, it's very easy to fix little boo-boos like that, rather than end up with a whole gray face. I'm going to start lining up my bow tie and kind of defining what's what with black. So I'm going to take a little tiny eyeliner brush for this. Okay, now the top part always gets tricky for me because it's hard for me to grab my hand. So bear with me because this might take a minute. <laughs> and then that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm like, yay! Okay, so now I just want to clean it up all the lines. Okay, so I've kind of went in and cleaned some stuff up. Now before I actually go in and do all the detail work for the black, I'm going to set the white paint with a white eyeshadow. This is Taco by Sugar Pill. I'm just using a fluffy brush to just kind of dab that over. You can put a little bit where the bow is. But I'm not going to do a ton because I don't want to get white on all my detail work. Okay, so now to do the the to finish up the detailing, I'm going to use an angled brush this time with the black paint. And I'm just going to actually clean up right along this edge. I'm going to start right here. I'm resting my, chin, my hand on my chin and my elbow on a table. See how easy that is to just kind of just follow the line of your nose? Just depending on your own nose shape, that may or may not work for you depending on the shape of the mask that you want. But it's a great way when you're just getting started to kind of figure out where to place things. I know I'm, not, I'm a mask novice. I am not by any way, shape, or form a you know pro mask maker. So those little tips really do help me out. And then for the eyebrow, I think I'm going to go from that area up. on the nose. I'm going to fill it in to where it kind of creates like a line to the rest of the mask like that. Fill it in. 
Make sure, it's kind of weird, but make sure to get it kind of in your nostrils a little bit. Because otherwise it can look like you have like a weird gap. Then I'm going to draw a line to make the black meet. And now you can see that it kind of finishes up the shirt part. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the line on the under part here nice and clean and straight. So what I'm going to do, ooh, see it got white on there. Grab a baby wipe, takes it right off. Place this right here. And move my face, not so much the brush. I'm gonna go double back. Now we're gonna line this all out in sequins so the line doesn't have to be super straight like it was above here. I just wanted the line here to be more or less even. Well, I have the black paint out, I'm just going to add a little detail to the bow. Little, you know, little bow things. I don't know what to call those. <laughs> and now to set the black paint, I'm going to use black eyeshadow from NYX. It's the blackest black eyeshadow I know, or I have. And I'm just going to pat that all over. As you can see, the uh, Mayron paint is not crease-proof at all. So for those of you wondering if it would make a good primer, no, not so much. But it does make a pretty good base. So if you use another primer underneath, it does stay pretty darn crease-resistant. It's not water-resistant, but it does seem to last. It's not really... it doesn't budge. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the sequins. As you can see, I've already done it on this side and the upper part on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some duo eyegla eyegla eyeglass adhesive. <laughs> I'm going to take some, uh, some of the dark tone duo eyelash adhesive. Just got a little bubble of that on the back of my hand. And um, the clear glue probably would work better than the dark, but whatever. Uh, this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use a small little craft store type brush. This one actually came with one of my Mayron palettes. So I'm just going to draw like a strip of glue, like a little bit at a time, and then apply the sequins to it. The sequins that I'm using are this slightly larger than average size. I don't know what the actual name of the size is or the brand or anything, so it's, um, I keep them like a little stacker like this. But I got them at a craft store, so any craft store should carry black sequins that'll work. I'm just draw on a little strip of it. Actually, I'm going to let that get a little tacky first. If you let the glue get a little bit tacky, then the sequins will actually go ahead and dry on your face. Otherwise, like, I tried this by just applying glue to the back of each sequin and sticking it on my face. And... I found that these sequins weren't really drying, so if you're actually going to wear this out of the house, like for cosplay or whatever, um, that the the glue will never dry. And you'll just be sitting there with wet sequin glue on your face. And if that's your thing, if you're into that, then by all means, do that. Take your time to kind of look up and look down and see what your sequins look like in the mirror. Okay, so now we need to apply our buttons, and for the out part, outer part of the mask, I was applying the sequins with the round side, like the rounded, like the concave part facing my skin. For the buttons, I'm going to turn them around and have the concave part facing out. So for this, I'm just going to place a little bit of glue on my skin, and then apply the sequin.
Okay, so now it's time to style it up. That's really cool, it actually fastens on in the back. So, thank you guys so much for watching my tuxedo mask tutorial. This is the second to last video in my Sailor Moon series, so I'm really excited because there's just one more left, and that's Sailor Moon herself. So keep your peepers peeled for that very soon. I'm not going to let this drag on any longer. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky, just be yourself. And yeah, have a... I got lipstick on my teeth. Or not face makeup. Ooh, can't move too much because I got my brows glued down. You know, it's not straight, is it? Mm. I'm very annoyed right now. That's not straight. Ow, my hair. Ow, 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 ow. Enough silliness. Blinky, blinky, blinky. I keep getting lipstick on my teeth.